Before I post this Debbie Hot 100, can I put unreleased songs on here? If there's another universe, please make some noise. Ah! Give me a sign. This can't be life. If there's a point to losing love, repeating pain, it's all the same. I hate this place, stuck in this paradigm. Minute, do it with me. What's up, YouTube? How we doing? Yes. If you saw that intro, then you know that I already love this song. I'm already obsessed with the song because SZA decided to give us a performance of the song before actually releasing it at the 2024 Grammys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She performed it. It was like a a recorded performance, and it was for this like Mastercard. And I said, if this becomes just a jingle for a commercial and not an actual song. I'm gonna hurt myself. I need this. I even had a whole debate. I was asking the people of Twitter and the people of Instagram, the people of the Debbie Dubs community, if we should allow unreleased songs to be on the Debbie Hot 100. I ended up saying no, even though the majority of the vote said yes, because I feel like saying yes to that would just allow like so many different unreleased songs to be on the chart. And then how would it really impact the chart if it's already on there unreleased and then they release it later? You know, like, like I, I the song needs to be released for it to be on the Debbie Hot 100. And look, we have this song now. It is called Saturn and it's by Sizzler. I don't think there's a music video, but who cares? This song is so good. We're about to listen to it. We're gonna have a good time listening to it together. Also, I am extremely tired. I'm extremely exhausted. I've been up since 8 a.m. I had a 15 hour shift at work. I got off work, started doing some Coachella stuff, like planning Coachella stuff with my friend Kiki. Shout out to Kiki because she's, she's doing all the hard work. But I fell asleep while we were on the phone planning it. And then I had to take the trash out, which was really hard to do because I had to get up. But after taking the trash out, I went into my nice comfy bed and started scrolling a little bit before actually going to sleep. And I saw that SZA released this song. So now I'm tired, but I'm here. So when you guys remember me, remember the dedication and the devotion to you, please. I'm doing this because I love y'all and I love this, obviously. But, you know, y'all number one, for real, for, for real. Here we go. Follow me on my social medias here in the description. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, all that good stuff. Sizzler this, sizzler that. Here we go with Saturn, the released, now released song by Sizzler. I wonder how it's gonna sound because it's not the live performance. Also, go watch my reaction to that performance. It's up on the channel. reminiscent to Kill Bill because it's like very cool and soft. And that bass line, yeah. I'm just not paying attention. Is there something on my nose and y'all didn't tell me? Oh my God. There better not be nothing on my nose. <laughs> my camera was doing this weird thing where like it would not, the lighting would like flash. Anyway, what I was saying was, if you look at this cover art, it's a bunch of different titles and all of the titles fall under that letter. So under S, 
you have Saturn, sick and safe. A, you have absent, acorn and atom. T, you have trust, take my time and time wasted. U, you have unwell. R, you have rare and rotten. And then N, you have nothing. So like, is this an entirely new album? Like, is this completely separate from SOS? I'm on SZA Wiki right now. And it says, on September 8th, 2023, SZA held a surprise album celebration event at Brooklyn Navy Yard and revealed that the previously announced deluxe edition of SOS would actually be a whole new studio album. During the show, she would perform previously unreleased songs, including Saturn for the first time in December 2023. The singer got more specific about the release, sharing different artworks for the album. Oh, period. I like this. This is cool. It's like a, a double feature, double album type of thing. Okay, let's get back into the song. <laughs> outro is heavenly so first thing I noticed is because this is the studio version I was kind of expecting it to be better than the live performance but I think I like the way her voice is more clear and upfront in the live performance the live recording performance video I feel like her vocals were louder and more clear in that one especially at the beginning <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna play the music video. Oh, she released it live. She released, is it on streaming too? <gasps> oh my God, she did. I don't even have to go to YouTube to listen anymore. Oh, oh. <laughs> There's a live version, a sped up version, an acapella version, and an instrumental version. I think the, her live voice is a little bit softer. We're going back to the... I don't know, there's something about the live one that just sounds a little bit like... It sounds a little bit airier, a little bit breathier. We've heard the live version already, so I'm not about to play the full thing for that, but what about this sped up? Let's listen to a little bit of this. Actually, instrumental or acapella. Acapella, let's listen to acapella. I want to hear her voice and her voice by itself. Mm. Oh, this is going to be excellent. I love that I can hear the background parts. If there's a point to losing love, repeating pain, it's all the same. I hate this place stuck in this paradise stuck. Don't believe in paradise This must be what hell is like There's got to be more 
got to be more sick of this out of mind Intrusive thoughts that paralyze No fun is not It's advertised There's got to be more Been here before Oh, come on I love how this song is basically like her telling us that like life here on earth is not it. She literally dreams of existing in another universe on another planet in another plane in another level of existence where she can break the monotonous, the regular dull things that she goes through over and over in everyday life. She's ready for something exciting. She'll be better in this new, you know, existence. Find something we're saving is over the taking. I always say I'll be better on Saturn. Saturn is mad as dreaming of Saturn. Oh, mm. karma's that layering. How am I still here? Just seems so unfair. I could be wrong though. If there's a point of being good, then where's my reward? Mm. The good die young and poor I gave it all I could Stuck in a separate dome All I see is terrible She Bring feels trapped us, Hysterical It's got to be more Got to be more Sick of the Zeta the way that these are like regular thoughts for SZA, but like, I don't know, maybe maybe I'm speaking t for too many people, but I should just be speaking for myself. I don't have these thoughts. Like, like I have these thoughts like this every now and again, but like, the way SZA speaks like a high person, but that's just her normal. Like a person that's like mint, like high, actually high on the tweed and such and the other things. That's just a normal average day for her. Like the way that her mind just thinks outside of the box, in my personal opinion. Like she thinks about the like the existential is that the right word existential things things that are larger than life things that are beyond life things that like take really deep thought for most people you know those deep conversations where like you talk about this type of stuff this is just SZA waking up in the morning <laughs> I love that. It's over the taking. I always say I'll be better on Saturn. None of this matters. Dreaming of Saturn. Oh. That part right there kind of reminded me of Brandy. I know Brandy is the vocal bible when it comes to layering and stacking harmonies, okay? But like just, it was very reminiscent of Brandy for a tiny second. You can't deny that. I heard Brandy. I got Brandy vibes. <laughs> This part. Right there. Saturn. Yeah. Dreaming of Saturn. I can just listen to this part on repeat. I'm about to fall asleep right here in this chair. We knew I liked the song. You knew I liked the song. If you follow me on social media, you already knew I liked the song. All I'm here to do is say, I like the song. Do you like the song? <laughs> do you like the live version or the studio version more? Can you tell if there's a difference? Because I feel like I can tell if there's a difference. Anyways, follow me on my social medias here and down in the description. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, all that good stuff. Let me know what's coming next with Sizzler. When we get in that album. We got a lot of It Girls coming this year. A lot of a lot of heels on next this year. It's exciting. So exciting. Uh, thank y'all for watching and sticking through a video that I hope isn't too delusional. I know when I get slap happy and tired, things get crazy, but I hope I, I was calm most of the time. Anyways, I love y'all and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.